Hey, what's up, my little tattletales? Yo, it looks like Black Lives Matter is having a little, a few problems. Now, get this, right? We all know that organization was headed downhill when they literally made Portia Peach Juice Williams the head of the struggle. Tamika Merrill and all of them seemed like they were crowding around trying to get some of that fame. Now, if you don't remember from last year, Black Lives Matter, the not the organization, but yeah, I guess you want to say the leaders, were played by all these active... Uh, accusations that they were activists. Tamika Maori, all these people were more interested, it seemed like, in chasing clout and getting Cadillac commercials than actually doing things for the people. Sean King, Tamika Maori, they were all plagued by accusations from the victims' families that they claimed to be representing and fighting for that the moms couldn't afford rent, they were almost homeless, they never got funds. This. They pushed back on those, but not really because they just kept on moving. This It grew and grew and grew about like, yo, where's all the donations going to? Because it's not going to the people you said it was going to go to. Well, y'all, it looks like Jeff Bezos, Amazon, literally got word of what the streets were saying, got some actual documented proof, and literally took Black Lives Matters of its list of approved charities to be an approved charity you only have to have a 501c3 that's it and not have anybody hidden in your car trunk or underneath the basement y'all let's get into this this is coming directly from the new york post right it says the beleaguered black lives matter global network foundation has been kicked off of Amazon's charity platform for its failure to disclose where tens of millions of dollars in donations it received nearly two years ago have ended up. Really quick, you guys, don't forget my Members Only Live. It's going to be this Friday, y'all. We roast it, we drag it, and we give them flowers. What we doing? Portia Family Values? Mm, that ain't it. I almost forgot to show name. Portia Family Matters. We are doing a Where Are We Now? Where Are They Now? Recap is going to be good. Link to join the membership is in the bio. All right, now let's get back to this mess. Y'all, people were accusing Sean King and Tamika Mallory of all this. Again, when Portia had her bolo season and they made her the face and said she was a freedom fighter, I knew something was off. If there's one thing mama can do, I can smell a scam. And it looks like it's wafted up to the heads of Amazon. You guys, this is actually really huge. Okay, so if I can just like really interject, right? There's a difference between the Black Lives Matter movement which is for the people and the actual corporate structure that is getting all the donations. I just want to clarify that the Black Lives Movement structure is legit, is moving forward. The Tamika Marrows and all that, they are with the corporate organization that is becoming, for what we say, the the face of Black Lives Matter. The or corporate organization is what's being accused of slipping. Now let's talk about this slipping because I do have to play devil's advocate. When the organization was first um, started getting a lot of influx of money, there was a lot of hate on Twitter. And to me, the hate seemed like they hadn't even done anything wrong. And people were c accusing them of stuff, misaligning them. They were crooks, con artists. You can't trust them. Where's the money going? It was giving very, we can't trust these people with their own money vibes. It was really nasty. It was not started from a good place or a place of caring. And this is when the BLM Corporation, the actual charity, if you don't know 501c3s are charities, this is when they started getting big influxes of money. You know? So when I read what Amazon and all these people are doing, I'm like, I don't know. However... Let's look at the facts. Y'all were caught slipping. And oddly enough, in the beginning, everybody was accusing you of this being hate-filled because y'all weren't doing anything because you didn't have donations, but you made it a self-fulfilling prophecy. Because again, we don't know what's going on. I don't want to actually even say that they are uh, misusing funds, misappropriate. This is, nobody knows what's going on. The issue is they've been suspended in California and in several states and Amazon Small had to remove them off of their charity because they are forbidden from taking donations in those states until everybody sees what is going on in the organization. Right now there's specifically 65 million that was given in one donation into I believe 2020 that they cannot account for. That doesn't even account for everything else because guess what? They won't give uh, any tax documents, right? They won't give any tax documents and they haven't submitted any tax documents since 2020 to the government. 
they are suspended in several states. So in that case, it's kind of that weird thing about like, damn, people was hating y'all, hating on y'all from the start, hate filled, hoping y'all would fail. And then the leadership actually did a self-fulfilling prophecy. And now we don't know what's going on. We just know they haven't turned in taxes. But anyway, let's get back to this story. Again, it's not a guarantee, but people are speculating that Black Lives Matter is about to lose worldwide organization and actually lose their non-profit status if they cannot actually rectify where tens of millions in donations went. Now, spoiler alert, has anybody checked Tamika Bowery's Instagram? Does she have a new car, new house? Check all the founders. Have they been vacationing a little bit too much, but nobody knows what's going on? I mean, listen, I'm all for if you in the struggle being paid well so you can focus on that. But let me find out somebody got a private island or a secret lair in the south of France. Yo, Amazon Smile, which gives a portion of eligible purchases on online shopping site to charity, said it had temporarily suspended the group today on, listen, states have rules for nonprofits and organizations participating in Amazon Smile need to meet those rules, Amazon said. Unfortunately, Black Lives Matter worldwide um, had fell out of compliance with the rules in several states. So... We've had to temporarily suspend them from the program until they come into compliance. Amazon plans to hold any funds that have accumulated for Black Lives Matter Global National Fund until they're back in compliance. But if they slipped out, let me tell y'all something, right? When there's tens of millions around, and this goes for any corporation, it's not just one person running it on a turbo tax. They have accountants, they have PR, they have lawyers, they have all these things protecting the money. And it's paid out of the charity funds that you give. The fact that you fell out of compliance in several states means the states, it's speculated, right? Literally make you every year say, okay, as long as you're a nonprofit, just prove that the money donations went to the nonprofit. Ada, ada, ada. I'm not going to get into 501c3s, but for those of you that know, that know, just show us your paperwork and be on your way. They chose to not show paperwork because what don't they want to see? They say Amazon Spile has raised more than 300 million for charities. That's it? Hmm. That not, listen, this ain't nothing about Black Lives Matter. It's just odd. Amazon Smile, they are a billion dollar company. Y'all only have 300, 300 million for charities. Mm. Okay, and for all y'all saying 300 million is a lot. Not when you making 786 billion a year. Shut up. Learn some math. Anyway, in October, get this, of 2020, the BLM took took in more than 65 million in donations from Thousand Currents, a charity that manages assets of grassroots nonprofits, according to documents filed with the California Attorney General. It's going down when the California Attorney General gets involved. It goes on to say, but the group has so far failed to disclose what it did with that cash. Again, check who's posting from a private island. That might be theirs. They might not be on vacation. We need to check. Listen, and so it goes on to say, as a result, several states have revoked its ability to collect donations. In California, where the group is based, the state's Department of Justice warned BLM leaders earlier this month that they would be personally liable for any delinquencies of the fees and fines. Personally liable. That means that they're personally liable. They're planning on revoking the 501c3 nonprofit a status protection and look at this as um, an illusory corporation and go after them. They are going to pierce that corporate veil, right? For those of you who don't know, 501c3s are a pharma corporation where you're exempt from all federal uh, tax and most taxes for that meaning. Now, on February 11, BLM released a long overdue federal tax filing. These people weren't even ta- filing taxes, y'all. <laughs> I see the minds that, that literally... I see the minds that did what they did, right? But also changed it. They also changed their accounting period from a calendar year to a fiscal year. The filing shows no contributions or grants during January to June reporting period, and the group likely had another year to file to return for the remainder of 2020. Yo, why do I feel like somebody's trying to take back everything they bought, including Bentley's clothes and private islands, to get that $65 million back? Yo, th- listen. BLM has not commented on this. Things are going down. Check their Instagram feed. Don't leave any nasty comments because we just waiting and watching. And this story is developing. All right, my little tattletales. I'll talk to you later.